Okay, welcome back to a little fly tying here. The fly that we're going to tie today is a green caddis pupa, size 18 hook, and the bead is a brass bead countersunk. It is a 564th in size. The reason I'm using brass and not tungsten is I normally fish this with a split shot oh maybe about uh, a foot or so up the line or with a, another uh, heavier beaded nymph tied onto it if I uh, fish uh, two or three nymphs at a time this way this one's not really ticking on the bottom it's just floating just above the bottom so the brass keeps it down just enough the thread I'm going to use is Danville 70 denier. You can go heavier denier, but it's easier to finish the fly with 70 denier on this smaller uh, fly here. So you're going to need a few more thread wraps than uh, if you would use a uh, heavier denier. Pretty easy to fly to tie, probably one of the easiest flies, but the materials are probably more important than the actual uh, tie of this fly because you want it to uh, act accordingly in the water by not overweighting it and the thread you want to uh, have the right color along with uh, the right uh, thickness of fly. Go ahead and start your thread on right behind the bead just a couple times and bring it back. Cut away your tag end. I actually dimmed the uh, light a little bit here. It's uh, I did a video a couple seconds ago and it came out way too bright with this thread. So dim the light down a little bit. Probably uh, easy for you to see. It's a little tough, tougher for me to see, but I probably could tie this in my uh, sleep here. So all right. What you want to do is build up a little thread base here, make a little body, but each time do not come up behind the bead. You want to leave a little room there for some dumping. So wrap it down a few times. Now if you live in an area that uh, caddises are prevalent, this is going to be a very effective fly for you, especially during the winter time. Caddises uh, hatch pretty soon, next uh, month or so they'll be hatching, but right now the fish are looking for something to eat. And a nice uh, green caddis floating on by. If you watched my previous video of me actually out on the stream fishing, you can see me talking to other uh, anglers out there and every person that day caught fish on caddis. I didn't hear of anybody catching anything on anything else. So, this is the fly right now. It's uh, late January here in western Pennsylvania. And if you want, check that previous video out. You'll see, uh, see me uh, in action, I guess. Caught a few fish. I already uh, previously pinched the barb down before I put it in the vise. Just uh, so you know. Most of the time I just pinch it down on the stream. I uh, carry a little uh, combination uh, scissors, uh, pliers type of uh, tool with me. Alright. Now that you have a little thread base on there to make a body bring your thread back up to behind the bead and the dubbing we're going to use is 100% wool this is that uh, fisherman's wool that you probably see me uh, in my other videos use quite often you don't need a lot of it just about that much the reason I like to use this a lot is the fibers are so thin that it actually makes uh, some good looking dubbing. 
So just lay it on the side of your uh, thread there to dampen your fingers a little bit. Spin it on. Give it a couple wraps. And behind the bead you uh, have on there. And we'll go right in behind the bead. Now you want to put a, just a little bit of super glue on the thread. Just the smallest of amounts. You're going to use that to secure the thread. Good tie that right in behind the bead take your whip finish tool I'm going to give it two whips that's all you're going to need here this will last you on the stream air pull it nice and tight remember if you really yank on this uh, 70 denier you'll break it pretty easily so give it a nice uh, tug Cut it away nice and close. You can bring that wool back up over the bead there a little bit. Get it off your thread body there, and we're going to add some UV finish to it. Very simple fly. Really, you, know, you can get into some crazy looking. Caddis pupa flies that uh, folks tie, but really why make it more difficult than it has to be. This is simple, effective, and I think it looks pretty good. So why make it more difficult? I'm all about keeping my flies pretty simple. Maybe yeah, some are some are a little more difficult than they have to be, but. Like the next one. Next one's gonna be a little difficult. This is actually the fly that caught the second fish of the day. The first one was a blowtorch, uh, size 20, I think I tied that on. I'll probably have to tie it a little bigger on video here, probably an 18, like the same hook. This one is here. Alright, once you got a nice coating on there, take your uh, light. And you know, give it a good cure here. I like to uh, spin it around as I'm curing something this small here. That way it doesn't get a big glob of UV finish somewhere. You can still see the thread up against the uh, bead there. When I got the light on it, but that's okay. I don't think the fish cares that much. He didn't care when he took it the last time. So, very simple fly. You don't have to uh, get too crazy on it. Color is more uh, more important than anything else. This is a Danville. It's like a caddis uh, caddis screen. I don't think what they call it. There's really no no uh, name on there. What uh, what are this? Just to go to your fly shop, take a look around. I'm sure uh, if you're in my area here in western Pennsylvania, I got this at Risen Fly Shop. So go see Ryan. He'll take care of you on the color here. All right. Appreciate you watching my video. If you do like it, give me a like and subscribe. And uh, go watch the previous video of me doing some fishing. Again, putting this fly into action. Alright, thanks for uh, checking me out. Have a good day. Stay safe out there.